This is the new meta defense in Madden 23. No. Your opponent won't even be able to gain a yard on the ground or complete a pass in the air. So if you want to see what defense I'm using to get results like this, oh my God. stick around after the intro. For the cheapest, fastest, most reliable muck coins in the market, check out my coin sponsors at AOEAH.com and use discount code MONEY for 3% off. Link in the description below. The playbooks that I'm going to be once again using today are my New Orleans Saints offense and my multi-D defensive ebooks. If you guys want to see more gameplays from these playbooks, please be a subscriber, hit the like button, and let me know in the comment section. But if you don't want to wait, you can see all the money plays from this or any of my ebooks right now. Just click the link in the description or the top pinned comment and it will download instantly to your phone or laptop. Or you can have it sent to the email of your choice. In my first gameplay, I start off on offense, and on the first play, I check into a run play. When I get back to the play call screen on second down, I can see that he was in a cup for match when I look at the previous play section. So I'm going to call the PA shot seams play out of the gun tight offset TE, which is a play that I made a video about just the other day that can score one play touchdown against any defense in the game. On the next play, I can read that he is still in the exact same defense. Break yourself, fool! <laughs> We are gone for a one play touchdown on the second play of the game. If you guys didn't see that video and want to see how I did that, I will have a link in the description for that video as well as an on-screen pop-up at the end of the video, so stay tuned. Now the defense I'm going to show you guys today is actually a defense that I recently put out before the huge gameplay update that came out in yesterday's video. If you guys missed that, I will have a link in the description for that as well. But a large portion of the patch was aimed specifically at nerfing all of the Meta Man Zero Blitzes that have dominated online gameplay pretty much since the game came out. Plays like the Overstorm Braid, the Dollar Spinner, and the Loop Blitz that they've been trying to patch since day one. All of these defenses still work, but not nearly as well as they did before the patch. The defense I'm going to show you guys today though wasn't addressed at all in that patch and it already felt like it was better than those plays anyway and that play is the quarter normal under smoke if you didn't see the original video i'll have a link in that description as well to me this is the best defense in the game right now for many reasons that i'll go over in this video the only adjustment that i'm going to make is i'm going to substitute my fastest linebacker at the middle linebacker spot you can put a safety here but i usually do that only when i know my opponent has to pass and so it will make it a little bit easier to block and run defense also want to make sure that I have my best three defensive tackles as the down lineman to create extra run support because I already have a lot of small players on the field. I also want to make sure that I have a lot of speed at my slot cornerback spots because they're going to be the ones that are blitzing and getting the most pressure. So whoever the fastest cornerbacks are, have them there. And if you have any extra cornerbacks with high man coverage, you can also put them at the safety spots for better pass coverage as well. I start this drive off as I often do by experimenting with some other plays from this formation as I'm always trying to find new plays to make content about. I'm glad I did this though because it'll also serve to highlight the clear difference between these defenses and the under smoke play that I'm going to show you in a little bit. As you can see, my opponent goes right down the field and scores on me in the first drive. You get to take a look at his stats as on the first drive, he completed three of four passes for 65 yards against random different defenses. Back on offense, I go right back to the PA shot seams. My opponent tries to switch it up and come out in the cover six. I read the cover two side and I can flip the field in one play. I am now too close to use the one play touchdown, so I start using some of the other short run plays and pass plays. And you can see me go right down the field and get inside the five. I get to a third and goal on the one, what? but he stuffs the QB sneak. So on fourth and goal, I see he's in that QB sneak lane one more time. I get a little bit too cute, try to switch to a dive, nope. and it doesn't work out as I turn the ball over on downs. He gets off the goal line pretty easily, and at this point, I decide to switch over to my money defense, the under smoke on third and seven. On the next play, we get the pressure, but this is Josh Allen. So he barely gets the ball away as his receiver bodies my safety despite the tight coverage. On the next play, we get to see how good the run defense is as the setup doesn't allow any gaps to run through and we stuff his run play at the line of scrimmage. On the next two plays, the pressure gets home pretty quick as Josh Allen still gets the passes off falling harmlessly incomplete. He goes for it on fourth and six and the pass protection does hold up this time. But luckily the tight coverage saves the day as we get the ball right back. He starts running the Overstorm Brave, which really only works if you aren't blocking your running back. So that's perfect, as now we get to see which defense is better. On the first play, he does get enough pressure to force an inaccurate throw, barely saving a touchdown. That was a close one. I hit him with a screenplay and on third and three he realizes it's not really working and switches to another meta blitz that wasn't mentioned in the patch, the 4-3 even 6-1 play called the Sam Will Blitz. But we have plenty of meta blitz beating plays in my ebook, so I switch over to halfback wheel and he knows it as he shoots directly for the running back. Oh, you almost had it. You gotta be quicker than that. That's one of the biggest advantages to my defense compared to these other meta man zero blitzes is that you don't have the responsibility of covering the running back. In most man zero blitzes, the running back is your personal responsibility to the user. And since the blitzes typically require you hovering a gap pre-snap, 
It usually makes the running back on a route the perfect weapon. On this play, you can see that the running back is manned up, leaving me with no user responsibilities and allowing me to roam and cover whoever I want. On the next play, he is rolling in the direction of the running back, making me think that that's exactly what he was looking for, but that route's locked up. On the next play, he comes down the gun tight, and this is the perfect formation for this blitz. Since the receivers are closer to the line of scrimmage, that means that my blitzing cornerbacks are also. And even though he has six blockers and we only send five rushes, we get an instant sack. <laughs> On third and 18, the pressure forces him out and he throws it up into a crowd. No! He goes for it on fourth and a mile because, you know, this is Madden. Are you stupid or something? Stupid is, stupid does, sir. And I do the full pass setup this time, which is also a QB contain, and he forces him out of the pocket right into it for a sack. <laughs> So we take over on the six. I motion the tight end into the line of scrimmage to help with the run play blocking. Then I hurry up, make the exact same motion and think that I'm gonna run the ball again. Psych! Just so I can get the wheel route wide open and score for the second time this game. Back on defense, I miss a tackle Oops. that otherwise would have been a stop for a loss. Instead, he flips the field on me with a simple swing right pass to the running back. On the next play, I still don't understand how this was an interception. What the hell was that? No big deal though, as we get an interception on the next play. It was at this moment that he knew. He up. And this one we're taking back to the house. Left in the dust. As my opponent rage quits before the score updates. We did get to see his stats again though before he quit out. As he only completed three passes against this defense before crying like a baby and leaving. Don't get mad at me because my meta blitz is better than yours bro. See ya. I start the next game on offense also and he is still running the exact same meta zero blitz the Overstorm Brave. I guess these guys didn't get the memo yet. And we're going to use the exact same route to the running back as we get the first down after we dip on the user tackle attempt. We switch over to the PA fork which is another offense I've made several videos about links in the description as well. Even though this is the first time I ran this play he seems to know exactly what route to cover as he is all over the corner route pre-snap. So I drag the tight end for a check down to get some easy yards. On third and five, I switch back to my gun stack wide flex offense, hit him with an inside zone to pick up the first down, and then I almost score on the screenplay, getting down to the one yard line before scoring with that wheel route again, which is the third time if you guys are keeping track at home. Link in the description. On defense, this is Dallas week, so we're going right to the under smoke. We're not messing around. As we get the sack on the very first play, get over here. We get into third and a mile as the pressure ends the drive and to my surprise he actually punts it away. Back on offense he gets me into a third and long before getting the sack so I decide to punt the ball away too as we are apparently both civilized Madden players unlike some of you savages who go for it on every fourth down. Yes, quite good. Indeed. Most certainly. I switch over to the cover four for some reason probably because I thought he was going to run the ball and this is one of my better run defenses and my opponent starts having success on the ground as he gets the first down for the first time this game. We do push him back on the next play and then we go right back to the under smoke. The next play probably should have been a sack or an air sack or both no and then on third down the coverage is so tight he has to punt the ball away down seven nothing he continues with the overstorm brave and we continue feeding our running back a healthy diet of wheel routes and screen plays he tries to cheat over to the running back side pre-snap so we make a slant adjustment just to give him something else to look for he switches over to the cover four in the red zone so i switch over to the pa fork one more time and we punch it in with 19 seconds left in the half on the first play of the second half he gets the ball and we get a quick look at the stats comparison as my opponent only had five yards in the first half against this defense. On the first play of the second half, he throws it up into super tight coverage once again. Gotcha, bitch! As we get an interception. And we get more yards in the return than he had the entire game. Back on offense, we go back to our gun stack wide flex offense. And we get in the end zone pretty quickly as we go up 21 nothing. On the next play, we get instant pressure to force an incompletion. And I see that my opponent hasn't even completed a pass yet. And it's almost the fourth quarter. If I can go the entire game without letting him complete a pass, that is the perfect clickbait title for this video. Obviously, he completes the next two passes. But I'm probably still going to use that as the video title anyway. I notice he starts making this zig adjustment a lot. So it's something I'm going to watch out for in the future. He finally starts to put together a good enough drive before this defense steps up against the sack. Then on second and long, I see that zig route develop one more time. Oh, no, you don't. And I jump it with N'Kobe Dean to score a machine. And we are once again taking it to the house for another pick six. This is the fourth defensive touchdown I have scored with N'Kobe Dean personally in the last three gameplay videos that I put out. As this game looked just like the first game as my opponent rage quits before the score could update 28-0. See ya! Looking at the stats one more time before he quits, it is clear who had a better defense as my opponent only completed three passes for 27 yards. And he completed two passes to me, including the only touchdown that he threw. So if that's it, that's the vid. If you guys want to see more videos like this, make sure to be a subscriber. Hit the like button, let me know in the comment section. Other than that, I'll have a video popping up on the screen right now about some of the offenses that I used to put up 28 points in both rage quit shortened games. So if you guys want to 
check that out. I'm sure it'll help out your game. Just click the link on the screen. And that's it. Thanks for watching the Memo Shit Out. Need more help or just want to show your support? Then head over to my Patreon and join my team, where you can get exclusive content like ebooks and bonus plays, as well as early access to my bids and more. Link in the description below.